and welcome to another episode of the royal family it is december i have holiday decorations up this is, we didn't decorate last year so i'm excited to actually have holiday decorations up this year i did make a little announcement too hoping to get three videos out for you guys this month um don't know if we're gonna be able to do like a well actually we Maybe we will. Maybe we will. Maybe the last, the so it's, it'll be this royal family episode and then academics adventures episode and then another royal family episode and maybe we'll go hang out in the wintry Mount Komorebi again just to like hang out with the kiddos and it'll be wintry. It won't be the holidays, but it'll be wintry. So that's a holiday enough for us. So in this episode, we are going to talk about the machinima real quick. Talk about, well, mi I'll, uh, Alice May, no, uh, Araminta and Han have some things to talk about after that conversation we saw in the machinima. And then we are going to be having babies. Kimmy and Makana and Julia and Manuel are going to be having their babies. And then we are going to have Alice May's birthday party. We're going to see a lot of other Sims there. We're going to try a mod there. We're going, yeah, there's going to be a lot. And then we're going to check out the new world, which as I'm filming the start of this video is not out yet. But uh, by the time I film that part, it will be out and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Oh, also, I have news in the, about The Sims, not me, but like I, in, in, in The Sims. I have news. <laughs> At the end of this video, we're gonna see I, I, an edited version of a stream because some, not something, so much happened on a stream recently. I'm linking the full stream, stream in the description. We'll talk about it at the end. I'll show you guys clips at the end so you guys can see all the important parts. Um, and it's freaking wild. It was, it was the craziest stream we've ever had. Somebody's dead. Um, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> okay, so we will say that this is kind of right after the whole conversation we just saw. Everyone already left. Han, af uh, after Zayori said that she wanted to go stay with her uncle, that, um, he, that they would think about it, essentially. So, Han and her mentor are talking about it. I think, I, I saw a lot of comments in the last episode and it seems like pretty much everyone agreed that like the way Akio went about it wasn't the right way but essentially they agree with him. They know that Han's probably a bit blinded by like what happened to him and how Akio treated him growing up which is fair I think but um that they shouldn't be pulling Zayori out of school that they um that like she needs to have the chance to stick up for herself otherwise she might end up growing up to be rather sheltered kind of like how Alice May was so we've seen already what having a like being sheltered and having very protective parents might do to a person hence Alice May it says that they're arguing right now I wish there was a bit more like a serious argument but not like in the mean category because I'm they're arguing about parenting essentially I do think Araminta kind of agrees in a way like she is also very protective of her kids but even if she doesn't want Sayori to be bullied and like have to deal with that of course she doesn't want her to do that but she also wants Sayori to like have a chance to grow I think she thinks it would kind of ultimately be good for Sayori to stay with her uncle and her grandpa for a bit oh it would be a couple months just to have like a change of pace just to have a change of scenery just to be able to learn new things to grow like have someone who's a bit harder on her which again Araminta thinks that might be good for her so I have her and Han kind of arguing about it even though I don't want it to be like them yelling at each other and I don't think that they would yell at each other like maybe it would get a little bit heated I just want Araminta to seriously be telling Han her points like this is why I think it would be good for her. We should just give it a chance. Like, I know you might not want to do this. I know you don't necessarily get along with your brother, but like, I think it'd be important. I have a science, baby. No, 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 no. We're done having kids. No, no. So let's just do a deep conversation for now. I feel like this is kind of like, especially with Zayori asking if she can go because I think Zayori does want a change of pace too, even if she doesn't want to go back to school. I think if it, if something like this ever happened to her again, she would want to stand up for herself. Like she would want to learn. Okay, all right. Well, we're done arguing though. No more arguing. Stop it. Okay, that's enough. Stop it, please, please, no more. I, I said arguing once. I didn't mean it. Stop, kiss cheek. Okay, all right. Now, now they're like, now he's like, okay. I can't. <laughs> there, it's. I feel like the Sims are like either all or nothing. Like, oh, 
I love them. Um, yeah, I think Zayori does want to have the confidence to stand up for herself. I think Zayori keeps replaying that moment in her head, wishing she could have said something, wishing she could have done something. And essentially, like, I know it, it might be weird because it's not like his uncle, like her, or it's not like Akio is like, okay, I'm gonna teach you how to stand up for herself. I just think that they learn a lot of their morals and, and ethics and um, oh, they're hugging it out. And they just learn a lot through martial arts like this family kind of does, Han's family does. And Akio's point is like, if if she can, if she, obviously she's not gonna teach her to be violent, but like, if she can, if she knows she could beat the crap out of somebody if she wants to, that should give her the confidence to stick up for herself. We don't want her to beat the crap out of anybody. We don't want her to be violent. But the like having the confidence and knowing you, that she could do it, like martial arts can build like confidence in people. That's what he's aiming for. And he just thinks that Han's too soft on her. Like if, if something's too hard for her, she doesn't want to do something. Han's like, okay, okay. So I think Han ultimately is agreeing to this. It's taking a while. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want his brother to be right. That's like his main thing. He's like, I don't, I, uh, I don't want him to be right. I, I, this stuff, I, I don't know. He's just like not for Akio winning this essentially, but he does know it's the betterment for his daughter. He doesn't want his daughter to be the pawn in this game between him and his brother because they've got their own issues. So I think An's like, okay, fine, we'll we'll tell her it's the morning now. So they'll they'll tell her they'll agree to it. They'll make arrangements, and then we're gonna do a time skip. We're actually skipping winter, which I find very odd for me being like, it's the holidays, it's December, and I'm literally about to skip winter because we are going to go to spring and we're gonna have babies and it's gonna be Elspeth's birthday and then we're gonna check it on Diori in the new world. All right, so we're with, I almost said Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> we're with Manuel and Juliet. We get to pick a birthing option for them. I already know what I want for uh, Kimmy and Makata, but for Juliet and Ben, honestly, y'all, I, I know y'all told me what the cheats are to make things go fast because, oh my gosh, Genevieve's pregnancy, like her labor was a nightmare. I can't imagine how someone like going through that would feel. Um, but that took forever. I like how the C-section went. It was quick, it was fast, and it seemed relatively painless. So let's do that one, I guess. Let's see other options, the C-section. Oh yeah, no, let, 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 we're, we're gonna do this. Okay, so I think Juliet's like literally about to go into labor. Um, also Priya aged, oh yeah, so we, oh yeah, we did a time skip. We've done a time skip. It's been about, what is it? about five months. A five months time skip. Priya is a child now, which, uh, I don't know what it is about Priya, but like her as a toddler, she was so big. Also, her chin, I think needs to be brought down a bit. I think she might have a chin glitch, but she was the cutest toddler. Like, I just wanted to pinch her cheeks all the time. She's a child now, which, uh, I don't like that they're growing up. Like, I, I'm all for it, but I'm not for it at the same time. Anyway, yeah, she's she's a kid. Um, and then Manuel, you are about to have another baby. You've got llamas all over the place. This house isn't necessarily like uh, catered to them. Okay, Julian has just gone into labor. Why do you have so many future cubes? Oh my, 10,000 for all of those? Holy crap, okay. Juliet's going into labor. Manuel's feeling t from lack of video games. Okay, my bad. I love video games too, but like you, no. Bubbles, stop licking. <laughs> no licking. Bubbles, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh, he, he licks and he licks and, and then he like gets the couch all wet and it's gross. You can't do that, honey. Okay, you cannot do that. You say hi? Say hello! Happy holidays! Yay! Oh, right, Juliet. Okay, Juliet's in labor. So I think you need to go to the hospital. Call obstetrician. Say, hey, we're in labor. Uh, didn't we are? I, ju I just picked this. No, we're, wait, what happened to your bump? Okay, all right, okay, it's back. That was weird. Um, all right, let's see. Oh no, not start home birth. Have baby at home. Wait, 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 wait. Have baby, have baby at home. Maybe, maybe it is have baby at hospital. Join, let's go. Does Priya want to be? Sure. Oh, who wants to come? Uh, 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 everyone? A lot of people? Your, your, where's your mother? Corinne, Corinne? 
I can't bring anyone else. I can only bring one person. All right, then your husband then, I guess. Y'all, I'm so excited. I, I think we're like, it's starting to wind down with the babies a bit, but there there's still some more couples that will be having babies. All right, so we're doing this again. Manuel is freaking out. You've had a bit. Oh, oh, and he's oh, tense from the video games. Right, right. Okay, well, guess what? Your wife is tense and she's having your child. So you can not play video games for a little bit, I think. All right, let's check in. Check on the baby. Okay, I thought I had to like check in, check in. This lady is on the phone. Ma'am, hello, get off the phone. We're having a baby. All right, okay, all right. She's checking on the baby. Where, where, oh, oh, oh. Why is she? Oh, right. Didn't we go through this last time? She's sparkling because she's having a baby. Welcome to the clinic. You have previously spoken to our obstetrician and you chose to give birth through C-section. When you are ready, ask one of our obstetricians to give you an epidural. We're ready. We're ready now. Manuel's like, yes, I'm sitting here. We are ready. Give a, give the epidural, please. I literally, I guess it was a few months ago, but okay. Ask for epidural. Yes. Uh, uh, this lady looks kind of... Wait, so do you. Wait, these people look familiar. The name sounds familiar. Have we... Were you... Okay. Samaria! Okay, well, you're you're an imposter. But in the next episode, Des and Adric are going to be having another baby. I want them to have more, I'm going to be honest. So we can expect more from Des and Adric. I don't know if Juliet and Manuel will have more. Kimmy McCona... If they have another, it might be an accident, if we're being honest. Oh, and Corn Farm, they want to have another baby, but we're going to check in on them. And then, oh, what is this? What is this yelling? Uh-oh, from receiving a... Wait, what? Wait, no, no issues. Something doesn't feel right. Dishes Julia is only feeling numbness on half of her body, and she's still in pain. It's best to let the obstetrician know to see if there's anything that can be done about it. Help. 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 I forgot things can go wrong. Where? Who's the obstetrician? Oh, you, 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 you. Uh, ask to replace epid... Duro. Is that what it is? I'm sorry to hear that. Let me try replacing it to see if this helps. I'll be right over. Yes, please help us. Pain relief. Yeah. Okay. Um. So baby, has to check dilation. No. This thingy, right? Give birth, treat patient. Getting movements like swaying with your partner will help easy control. Wait, but I just want to have the baby. It didn't the epi Oh no. Oh wait, wait, wait. We covered this last time. Pain relief from receiving epidural. Okay. All right, so it hasn't taken effect yet. So 20 minutes, so we're just gonna speed through this. All right, five, four, three, two, one, and zero, huzzah. Can we, baby, give birth, yay! Okay, you, you, you can, you can deliver the baby. Manuel, um, you better not be playing video games, sir, I swear. You need to be in the room. Manuel is just sitting here patiently. I hear a laser. This is this is all fine. Th that that this is fine. That's okay. Okay! They are baby girl! Alright, so patrons chose the name. So we are going to name her Lady Ishana, which means wish. I think that's a beautiful name. Ta-da! Baby. Doctor has prepared a birth certificate. Why, thank you very much. She's, she was singing to her. Oh my gosh, Manuel, Manuel, you should be doing something right now, hello? Just come stand, even even if you're just gonna hover, just be present, be here. Oh, 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 wait, where'd she go? What is happening? Juliet looks very concerned. Oh, okay, we're all good, all is good. Where's the baby? Oh, the baby's at home. Yay, we had Lady Ashada. So now they have two, I... That might be it. We have a lot of sims. We also have to keep in mind the more sims we have, the less I can focus on them. So I'm like trying to tone it down a little bit. But yay, they have two girls, Priya and Ashana. I'll post pictures of them. Priya's gotta be so excited to be an older sister to have a little, oh my God, she must've screamed when she found out that they were having, like that she was having a little sister. Oh, I'm so excited for them. 
All right, so we are now at the Mermaid Palace. I have Kimmy and Makana. They've been staying here for a bit, and then uh, Lokalani Makana's grandmother, not mother, grandmother, um, has been helping them out. Kaleo has offered to babysit uh, because they know that Kimmy is going to be due soon and like to make things easier. He thought that he would help out, which, you know, is a great step for Kaleo. And then uh, I think part of him also, like, I think Leilana and Dean have been like showing much more affection to each other. They've been doing a lot better um, and Kaleo is like, you know, in his head he's like, great, but also like, okay, there's too much VDA around me. <laughs> like, and now it's just weird. Um, so he's like, get me out of here, get me out of here. So I think Sione bothered the crap out of Kaleo uh, to play with him. Um, he wanted him to take him into the kiddie pool and Kaleo was like, I don't know. I don't really want to, but okay. So now now it seems like he's playing a bit. Um, Akana's supervising, making sure like, you know, none of the kids bite Kaleo, even though I think he would think it was pretty funny. Um, and then Kimmy is about to give birth. So she's gonna be giving birth here. She, I'm gonna have her give birth in the birthing pool, actually. And I'll probably talk a bit more about Kaleo in the next episode. I mean, we checked in. I, I'm not, I haven't talked about him much because I do think it takes time for someone to learn and grow and um, sometimes they just kind of got to do things on their own and I, I think that's what's going on with Kaleo. I don't want to rush it because I don't think these things should be rushed. Obviously, things are not 100% better for him. He's still trying to find something that he's super passionate about. I think he's like started looking into doing more things like relating to the environment and the ocean and like because he, he loves the ocean. He loves swimming. I, I, I feel so weird saying that. Like, yeah, he loves loves to swim, but he does. I, I think working on, on these like causes and stuff, like he, I think he enjoys it, but it, it's not something he's like, yes, I want to make a difference. Yeah. So uh, I, I think he's still looking for something. And he's feeling really playful now. I imagine that he was like super tense before. And when Sione was like, I want to go in the kiddie pool, take me. And he was like, uh, okay, well, but now he's feeling more playful. So I think it, it, like, I think the boys force themselves into Kaleo loving them. They grow on him, but they're very annoying sort of thing. All right, Kimmy's in labor. Makata's freaking out, yes. I don't think it's hit Kimmy quite yet. Is it, has it hit you yet, Kimmy? Oh gosh, you're picking up your child while you're pr like in labor while you're pregnant. Is it, has it hit you yet? Are, are you, do you know? Do you know that you're in labor? No, they're just, they're just, they're just staring at each other. Oh, 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 now she knows. Now she's aware. All right, cool. All right. All right, home birth. Chosen her, her birth. Home birth. <laughs> Prepare for her home birth by purchasing a birth pool or birth pillows. Activities such as breathing exercises. Yes, yes, we know. This will not take as long as it did with Genevieve. We have a lot to get to in this episode. I am cheating the dilation. I do not care. I am going to invite over the family though, the parents. Oh, does Naya want to be here? Let's have Naya be here. Okay, so Makana's calling over the fam. I almost had him invite over Samaria and Bellatrix, but then Dean and Leilana are going to be here, and I don't think Samaria still wants to talk to Dean, which I know it's been a while, uh, but I think things are just kind of awkward. Also, they live kind of far now, so I don't think she'd be able to make it in a heart. I want to see Samaria and Bellatrix again. We don't get to see them that much anymore, and like, you know, good for them for uh, going to, you know, do their own thing and stay away from their parents, but um, no, we don't without, now we don't get to see them as much. All right, but we do have Arya is here. Arya's coming in. Oh, uh, we're, we're in labor. Uh, so, no, don't send home. We just invited her. Um, Gabriel should be coming in. I think they left Sahar with a babysitter, um, but we, we'll, we'll see Sahar in the next episode. I know we want to see. Uh, I want to see like Corn Farm with Vivian and uh, Gabriel and Arya with Sahar, so I'm going to focus on that in the next episode. Next episode will be super fun and cute. Okay, where? Oh, they're swaying together. Oh my god, no. Ah! Oh my gosh, she looks like she's in so much pain. Oh, but she, oh no, no, she looks like she's being comfortable. Oh, this, I love this. I love this mod, it's so good. Okay, are you the obstetri- You're our neighbor? Where's the obstetri- I don't remember how to do this. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood, ma'am. We are giving an island welcome wagon. We are giving birth. Now is not the time. Now is not the time. End early, yes, please. 
Well, that's too bad. We would have liked to get to know you better. Well, your timing is horrible, I must say. Okay, I literally went back to the video where Genevieve was giving birth. I I was supposed to call the midwife. I did not read the instructions correctly. Uh, so that should speed things up mid. Oh, hey, it's the lady from the hospital. Ask to check dilation. Oh my gosh, did that just say fire? You can fire them? <laughs> <laughs> that would be some drama. I wonder how, what, what would they do? They'd have to do something pretty crazy to fire them. When you're that desperate, when you're in labor and like you fire someone, like you fire your midwife, so they must've done something horrible because what choice do you have when you're in labor? I love that Arya's just holding a ball of clay and Gabriel's on his phone and talking to Pilapo. This is adorable. Okay, checking dilation. If it's real, if it's not dilated, two centimeters, you're off to a great start. We're not doing Doing this again, I uh, Genevieve's was a ride. It was a trip. It was an emotional roller coaster. I'm cheating this. I'm I'm gonna look back on comments to see you. someone told me how to cheat it. Okay, apparently I should be able to right click childbirth settings. Marcus given birth before. I mean you have given birth before. Give birth. Give birth immediately. Yeah. <laughs> give birth immediately. Yes. 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 Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Okay, check my dilation. Where we're, we're, we're dilated. We're ready. We are ready. I don't know if you want to be here, Pilapo. Wait, what? You're one centimeter dilated. Are you ready to do this? Are you? Are you? I feel like I'm doing... Am I cheating wrong? Have baby! Have baby! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Baby! Baby! All right. Okay. Well, uh... I, Dean, you should leave. I'm, I'm so serious. You need to go. Okay. All right. Oh, I literally just put a bass in it here, but they added another one. Okay. All right. Baby, it's happening. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness for the cheese. That still didn't go as smoothly as I would have liked it to, but that's okay. You guys got to watch me struggle. Oh my gosh, a baby, a baby. I actually think I like the scales on it for the, like it's, I'm like, yeah, like the scales are, they're mermaids. So like it touching water, I could see it. I'm just wondering like, can they control like when the scales appear or when their tail appears? Cause clearly they're not like, they don't have a tail when they're giving birth. I feel like, oh, 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 yay. Okay, they had a baby girl. It's so funny. I just posted a picture of Kimmy Makata, like the pregnancy pictures on Instagram today. And so many people were saying that they hope it was a girl. And it is. Um, so my patrons also voted for this on Patreon. Um, but I'm really glad they chose this because I, I really wanted this to be her name. So um, we're going to name her Princess. Wiki, and that is Wiki, that's not Wiki, like Wikipedia. So it is Samoan for Victorious. I also really wanted to name her this because it looks like, um, it looks like Victoria. She made the Solani Palace, she made the Mermaid Palace, she made the Salvadorada Palace, uh, she made Samaria's house, she made Makai's house, like she's just built so much. And she's so, so sweet. And because Victoria, it's pronounced Victoria in her country, but she spells it with a W, but I I thought Wiki looked kind of like the beginning of her name, so I kind of wanted to like name her after her in a way, just I, because I'm so appreciative and I think it's a pretty name too. So um, it's also very different. Like it, we don't have, I don't think I, do I have any Sims that have the name that start with a W because I'm starting to like repeat a lot of letters. So this one's like very different. Yay. <laughs> Uh, I know, I, I'm trying to be mature here. It looks a little silly. <laughs> also, I'm like checking my window because if like anyone can see, because I feel like if anyone from like, like we're next to the courtyard, if anyone like looked through my window and just saw this on my screen, they'd be like, what the hell? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so precious. This is so precious. They had the baby girl and the way she's holding her. Oh, okay, we're done. Okay, they have their babies. Um, I, as much as I want to spend time here, I, you know what? We'll probably see them in the next episode. We have a lot to do still. Um, so we are going to go to Windenburg to have Alice May's birthday party. So now we are having Alice May's birthday party, which I'm really excited for. There, I think there's like 50 people invited here. William, why did you just change from your suit to your everyday outfit? I am very confused, sir. So we're having a little banquet. I kind of thought by the time everyone would get here, it would be dark. It looks like it's still somewhat light out. Um, also, Cedric, I, I did change you into something else. Um, also, oh, not MC pregnancy, oh dear. So people are still arriving. I, okay, I actually, I have 
have a, a secret. This is just the ballroom of the Henford Palace. I figured there would be way less lag because I knew there was a lot of people coming. So I figured there'd be way less lag if we just did the ballroom. So um, to not break the immersion, we're just gonna like try to stay in here as much as possible. Um, Didn't invite the kids and didn't invite the toddlers because without them, it was still like 50 something people. So I was like, that is just way too many. Um, there again, some people that you guys probably haven't seen in a while here. Bellatrix and Samaria are here. Ava's here. We did see them when we did Cedric's birthday party about two episodes ago. Oh my gosh. Charles, the dad saying, I cannot. It's so funny to me. Um, this is supposed to be like a pretty fancy banquet. Here we have Alice Bay and Amira here. I, okay, so I want this. I'm gonna recolor the uh, bow, the ribbon, to have Henry's face on it. Maybe I'll recolor it to have Amira's face. If Amira's the one who like bestowed it on her. Uh, she's done a lot. She's done, I've, I've talked about like the foundations that she has, she has started. Also the work that she's put into the family, what she's done for the community, what she's done for the kingdom. Kingdom, et cetera. Cedric's here. So if you are keeping up with my academic adventure series, I can't believe the last time we hear this is wild. I don't know how much I want to say because like I want you guys to watch it too. All I'll say is so last time we were here, Sterling and Cedric started dating. Uh, now we're here again. And if you were following the academic adventure series, things got really messy and they are no longer together. So if you want to check that out, that's the second episode of the academic adventure series. It's been several months. I don't want to talk about it too much here because I want to save it more for academic adventures, but um, Cedric's doing okay. Uh, again, we'll talk about it more later. William, he's currently dating someone, but they could not make it. And also Alice May's friend, Kanda, from from also the Academic Adventure series, also could not make it. I want to keep like them meeting people to the mini series. So we'll, we, so you guys will see them meet there and then maybe we'll see them in the future. So I got this mod that lets you have the wedding cake as the uh, as a birthday cake. Han and Alice are talking. I feel like that's such a cute friendship. I, I just feel like they get along really well. Like Han's kind of quiet. Alice is, is pretty friendly. I feel like he likes to stick to hanging out at these events with the more down to earth ones. And I feel like Han is definitely one of those. But I got this mod that lets you have wedding cakes as birthday cakes. So I'm going to have Alice May blow out the candles and she's going to age up into a young adult. Can't believe this. I know she's been a teenager for freaking ever, but I still can't believe this. Okay. 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 All right. Oh, let me, I want to take a picture. The way they blow out candles this is so silly to me. <laughs> She's aging up. Oh my gosh, yay. <gasps> okay, so we have clumsy prop. That's so funny to me, clumsy and proper. That's hilarious. Um, clumsy, proper, outgoing, and a dog lover. I know she's a horse lover too. She's honestly gone through a couple traits. Loyal. I'm. She is very loyal. I kind of love the buffs that we get with loyal. So maybe I'll do that. I, I, honestly, I might. Like I do think she's outgoing. Maybe I'll change that. I still want more CC traits. Oh, also there's. Oh wait, yeah. There's traits that are coming with the new pack. It's it's the generous trait, and that I am a hundred percent going to give with Alice. May. G give to Alice May. So um, maybe I'll replace outgoing with generous, but I don't have the pack yet it's it's not it's out in a couple days but it'll be out later in the video um so i'll give her loyal and then i'll replace outgoing with generous I, I, i'm gonna do renaissance sim for now let's do that maybe it'll change later okay adric sent her a gift elon sent her a gift william sent her a gift sissy sent her a gift molly grace sent her a gift. they're all here that's so funny let's cut into this cake i tried to there's not a lot of purple cakes i kind of wanted a purple cake like i feel like this is a very teenage amira cake so it's a bit more like you know a calling back to that all right call the meal everyone has Okay, come on. Okay, so I did also want to try this new mod. So let me let me have them get their cake and then I can do that. I do also want to at this, who is naked? Somebody's naked. John, please put some clothes on. Okay, there's definitely still people who did not show up. Why does this 
always happen. Are there people like still coming in or something? Oh my gosh, I found them. Who is also naked? Who is naked? Corn, corn boy, Cornelius. No, corn boy's here. Nay is here. Jessica just arrived. Um, Makai is here. We we have a whole bunch of people I think that are supposed to show up. So I think more people will come in. It looks like some people are just trickling in. Oh my gosh, one of Amir's wants is volunteer with family. That's so sweet. Wait, what are you? What are your? Are they music related? They are music. Listen to romance music. Ooh, uh, be alone. <laughs> Do something romantic. Okay, well, you're just about to because we're gonna try this mod. Okay, all right, it is nighttime. Oh, well, well we're cutting off the ceiling here. Um, it's nighttime, they're out on the balcony. This is super romantic. Uh, oh, they're flirting with each other. They're flirting with each other. This is so cute, this is so cute. He's professing his undying love to her. This is so sweet. Okay, so I got this. Oh my gosh, he's feeling very flirty. Feeling fulfilled from want fulfillment. Okay, so I got this mo- Oh, propo- No, 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 not- when Oh, right, we're not proposing. <laughs> not yet. So I got this passionate gifts mod, and I thought this would be the perfect time to try it. Oh my gosh, this heart necklace is 950 simoleons. It's a lot of money for Casimir. <laughs> I- Uh... He's, I mean, he's been working a lot and saving up, uh, but now he's at school. Flowers and chalk. Maybe, okay, I don't know, maybe he's been saving up for a really long time for this. All right, heart necklace. So he's gonna give her a heart necklace. I'm so, I wanna see, I wanna see all of this. I want to see all of it. Okay, all right, so uh, uh, this is, this is him giving her the necklace. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's just a picture, but look, at Amira's portrait behind them, it's just like eyeing them, staring at them. Okay, okay. Oh my go oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my Ah! Wait, wait, I want to see. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, this animation's great! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Does it stay on? Will it stay on her? <gasps> Oh my gosh. Ah, the way he's kissing, she's kissing. I want all angles here. Oh my god, you guys, this is adorable. This is so cute. What? 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 This animation's great. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. <gasps> what? Okay, she doesn't have it on, but like I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna start putting this I have this heart necklace I've always wanted to use for her especially since like her bracelet like got completely ruined in the crash The one that she had matching with Benji. I want to cast me to get her something else. Maybe that's the something else Can I get Benji a heart necklace? Dude? <laughs> that was so Cool. She has a moodlet now. Golden surprise from receiving a golden necklace. Whoa, such a beautiful surprise. Princess Alice May really loves it. She feels quite lucky to have such a partner. <gasps> oh my gosh. Shiny gifter. To give and not expect anything in return is what lies at the heart of a love. That was so, so sweet. Oh my god. I think now I can use the passionate romance mod for them. It's like something like that. It like just allows for more romance interactions. I probably should have downloaded that, but that's, oh, they're cute. Oh, also guys, before I forget, this is reminding me because of Caspian. I met Anya who, who made Caspian <laughs> and I, so, okay, so just a quick, quick little story. One, I I met Tally, who made Ellis, um, and who I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about a lot. If you're on streams, you've seen her. But I, I met her when, um, um, not when I first started my channel, but like a couple years after and then probably around the time I like introduced Alice like a little bit before and so I met Tally through my Sims channel through my Instagram and, um, she, and Then she introduced me to like a bunch of other people in the Sims community and then we all just kind of became friends One of them is uh, Cass who made Fallon and Graham and, and Graham's parents um, and also I, there, there's they've there's others who have made more too um, I think those are the main ones, you know, some are not uh, Sims have not appeared yet or you don't know about quite yet so I can't say and then I met Anya uh, too also through my channel she messaged me said she like submitted a sim for me and and it was Caspian and I found him on her gallery or like on my tag and I was like oh my gosh so I, I messaged her and then we 
started talking and we became really good friends. So I've known these people for like, it's al almost, it was like right before COVID. So like, oh my gosh, like we're going on four years now. I just, anyway, I just wanted to, to show and tell you guys about that because I just, I, I mean, I met them through the Sims. <laughs> but yeah, just like, I don't know. I just wanted to share. But yeah, they came to visit. They came to visit me in LA. We had a blast. So don't ever let anyone tell you that online friends aren't your real friends, but also be careful. Um, I would also just like to say that, please be careful. I've, I've known these people for years. I've talked to them almost every day for years been on video chats with them. Like I, I met their parents through video call. Like, so definitely be careful. Anyway, thank you to The Sims for, you know, letting me meet these amazing people who I love so, so, so much. Okay, anyway, um, on that note, where's Nani and Malia? I, they should be here. And where did Jessica go? I see Arya, Arya's here. I feel like Arya doesn't come to a lot of parties. She just like doesn't show up. <laughs> but I did also mention in my academic adventure series, let's watch Han dance, that Molly Grace hasn't been having a good time at all at that school so she's off barely has any time like it was a honestly a blessing that she was even able to make it i feel like she told alice may like she wants to try so hard to make her birthday banquet but she doesn't actually know if she'd be able to but she did make it but she's having a horrible time because no one likes her there like everyone is just because she's a princess they think that she just got in because she is a princess so like that essentially she like didn't deserve to or doesn't deserve to be there so they are not nice to her she is not having a good time there. Molly Grace has been going through it. Graham is at university. Graham can't be there. So I feel like it has been really, really, really hard for them. Graham, obvi wow, okay. Um, Graham wants to be there for her. He he, he wants to. So um, we're gonna have them talk, argue about relate. Maybe we should do this somewhere else. And I don't feel like this is like a mean blaming thing. I think this is the first time they've seen each other in a while. They don't get to catch each other. I changed your hair, Graham, but I like, Graham! <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so so Graham, like they haven't been able, okay, you guys should actually be doing this in private. Come over here, sit and chat here. So Graham like really wants to be there, but he can't, and not just because like of his schedule, but also Molly Grace's schedule too. Okay, all right, they're, they, they have privacy now. They're on the balcony, the party's down there. Oh my God, I could just see Benji like from up here. Um, okay, so they're, they're chatting now, they're talking about this. I feel like Graham, is, like this has turned into a very serious conversation. Ooh, complain about classes, sure. Um, this turned into a very serious conversation. Graham is like, I know this is so hard. Like, I, I, I want to be there for you. And I, but like, it's, it's just kind of impossible right now. So I feel like they're both essentially upset about things that are beyond their control, especially because I mean, they've been together for a long time. I think they really do care about each other so, so much, which is why it's also making this really hard. Like they've, they've kind of always been long distance, but they could essentially see each other almost whatever they wanted to um, before. So now they're not able to, and Molly Grace is going through all of this, and she just like, she just wants her boyfriend to be there, even though she knows that he can't. Maybe, maybe he's going to apologize to her. He's like, just saying like, I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, I, I, you have no idea how badly I want to be there for you. Him saying like, if I could change this, I totally would. Honestly, y'all, I kind of demand a temporary, a, a temporary separation. I feel like she would say maybe we should should break up them. And I feel like Graham is like, but I don't want to break up. He's like trying to fight for the relationship. He's like, but like, I I, I love you. I'm crazy about you. This is him like trying to explain to her, like, I'm crazy about you. We're gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Ah! Molly Grace is asking Graham to break their romantic relation. Well, then what's the difference between that? That's so mean. The way the animations are so mean. What's the difference though between that and a regular breakup? Well, she's upset about it now too. They're both upset. Graham and Molly Grace are now separated their status represents potentially temporary break in a relationship. Graham can let things drift and eventually decide to give up on this relationship or fight for it and try to save this love. The separation menu as well as interactions of all types will influence what happened. Wait, what? I don't think he's like angry at a hurt, dazed relationship pause. Graham and his partner are taking a break in their relationship. That makes him dazed. That's wild. Okay, I, I think that's more so what it's going to be. That's interesting. Also, is she also dazed? Yeah. Okay, so now the interaction Actions. Promise to change. Apologize for past mistakes. Ask to go stay somewhere else. Attempt peaceful discussion about issues. Blame for relationship problems. Criticize life choices. Gauge common level of reconcile by dozens. 
What? Okay, I don't I don't know what that means. Offer to give this relationship another try. Can't do it so soon. Wonder what went wrong. Rehash old arguments. Remnants about past good times. Say something nice about Molly Grace. Okay, this is wild, you guys. I actually love this. I think Molly Grace was doing this because she thinks if they break up, she won't have to like rely or have that like want of Graham being there and then just end up with the disappointment that he can't. I think she thinks if they break up, then she, she won't hope for it anymore. Like she'll just know he can't be there. There's a lot of emotions. I think this is a really complicated breakup. Hey, anyway. Oh, are you guys sitting next to each other now? Oh, and Alice May and Cass. Oh, uh, Molly Grace, why don't you go? Why don't you and Alice May have girl time? I think in the next episode, in the next episodes, I want to set aside time to have like a toddler and infant sort of play date. But now we are going to go check out the new pack and, and, and see the new world and we'll leave everybody else here. Okay, so the new pack is officially out. I have barely looked at it because I wanted a lot of my first reaction to be on this video um, and we'll talk a bit more about it too. Um, the only thing I have seen is this world icon, which is beautiful. Oh my gosh, that is, I think, my favorite one out of all of them. And then I did look into Create a Sim a little bit just to pick some outfits for them because I just wanted to have them wear some for the pack. Okay, so we're going into the world and it's be oh my gosh, this is beautiful. <gasps> Sims cannot live on non-residential lots. What size is that? Okay, so this is 40 by 30. So this is where the family is going to technically be living. There's someone who's making a palace. Um, so I will show you that in the next video. This is, again, it's not fully set up. The pack literally just came out. Um, and we just, I just wanted to do like a little first look, but I, I'm gonna have them move here. I don't think I'm ever gonna use Forgotten Hollow again. Um, I know the mod that turned it in to the Asian inspired world does not work anymore. So I think I am going to keep them here. I do wish this was a 50 by 50 lot. That would have been really, really nice. And it's actually nighttime as we are loading into here. So I'll, again, I'll show you the palace when we are here in the next episode. We'll save more story stuff for the next episode. What I honestly really want to see right now. Okay, so there's the palace here. I actually think this is a decent place for a palace. Maybe the like staff kind of live around here. Here, maybe. Um, this temple is beautiful. It's unresolved conflict from feeling bitter about someone nearby. Is it your son? <gasps> oh, it looks like they might have gotten in a little bit of an argument. So that's interesting. I do want to see this in like with reshade. Wow. Oh my god. <gasps> I love Oh my gosh, okay. I'm, okay, it, this has gotta be it. I'm really excited for the night market. If you don't know about me, I love shopping. I love shopping so, so much. I love cute little trinket stuff. Just like anything cute, anything really pretty. They could be random AF, but I love it. Night markets, I have been to a few, but none like in Asia. I've been to Taiwan when I was two. My mom is Taiwanese and she, she's been saying like, we need to go. It's just such a long trip, but like the night markets in Taiwan, I really, really want to go to. So we're gonna have them travel a bit, eat some food, have some munchies, order food, pad thai. Does anybody have Hyannese chicken? That is my favorite. It is the national dish of Singapore. Did they, did the Sims put Hyannese chicken in here? I don't think they did, unless it's here. Hollow, hollow, mmm, no. Sit, just all the kiddos, everybody come here. They're gonna like search and explore the night market. It might be, honestly, they might be closed. I know it's kind of a little bit late here. Okay, so if I'm, I'm sure most of you have heard, this is a Southeast inspired, Southeast Asian inspired world, mostly inspired by Thailand. I have mentioned that I have a bit of Thai representation, so Vietnamese representation and Filipino representation, um, along with like some Korean <laughs> and other Chinese inspiration and Japanese. Okay, originally I had thought Araminta's family has inspiration from like one part, like one half of China, and then Han's family has inspiration from another half. Of course, we do have a Duke and Duchess that's meant to be Korean from Chinshing. So it is a little bit of a mix and a melting pot. I also have a Vietnamese family, which is Southeast Asian in Guangxi. So it is a little bit of a mess. I, I just need y'all to like, you know, work with me here. It is 
The Sims. I didn't know we were gonna get this world. I'm gonna try to put way more of the Southeast inspired. Oh my gosh, I just keep saying Southeast. The Southeast Asian inspired things. <laughs> um, people, culture, all of that into Jinxing. I'm gonna focus it more on that and then maybe a bit more of like the Eastern Asian in Guangxi. Again, there's a little bit of a mix up. People move, maybe so they didn't like, maybe they're from an area, but like their family moved to like a different area a long time ago. Anyway, that was kind of just my idea. Now, we are going to actually play through a bit more in the next episode with them. Again, this was mostly meant to be just like a first look. I just thought it'd be really cute if they just took Sayori to the night market. But yeah, we're pretty much gonna end this episode here. So I, of course, do have one more thing to show you guys. But before I do, just wanna say my little like goodbyes here because we are going to end with the stream that I edited. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about the new babies, Kimmy and Makana. They had a daughter and so did Julia and Manuel. Let me know what you guys think about the passionate gifts mod and also the temporary separation with the relationship and pregnancy overhaul mod and the whole thing with Molly Grace and Graham. Let me know what you guys think about this situation here, the dynamics with Akio, Han, and their families, obviously Zayori and what she might be learning. Stay tuned for the stream coming up next and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hello. We are doing some gameplay. I was, I just downloaded a mistress from the gallery that was made for Liam. Because everyone was like, in the last episode, they were like, oh, I feel so bad for Liam. And I'm like, what are you, Liam, what? Liam is not any better. Just some really quick background information so you guys know what's going on. We started this with Liam having two affairs. And one was the stylist of his mother, who used to work with Aisha. So they woohooed in an observatory at a club. And then we decided Liam was going to have have an affair with the DJ there named Destiny. They also woohooed in the observatory at the club. I did forget to have her take birth control, but she was not pregnant, thank goodness. And then we did some other stuff in the stream and we moved on to Eloise and Winston's wedding where most of the drama went down. Birth control. Ember is about to talk. <gasps> Ember's about to talk with the girl that Liam had an affair with. Is she flirting with her? Heave ho in bush. All right. Are you just gonna like, wait, did you see that Ember? Cause you're literally about to do the same thing. Oh, hello. Okay, so they're doing it. All right, Ember and Manic, come here. Go here. And girl, you're definitely not pregnant, right? <laughs> Is this baby gonna have big hair? She literally just took that birth control. She didn't take it the first time and they weren't pregnant. And then she took it and she got pregnant at Liam's twin sister's wedding that his wife was at and child. Oh my God. And this was a bush. Did you tell him? Are you telling his sister too? Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my gosh, her face. Mena is laughing in the background. All right, Liam knows. All right, can you tell Ember you're pregnant with her spouse? Congratulate on marriage. That would be the low. Okay, I've decided. Destiny is petty AF. Cheating and fidelity. I admit to having. <gasps> ah! You're telling this in a group setting? Wait. Ember wasn't even phased by that. You are not even phased, girl. Was flirting with another. What have they been doing behind their back? Well, they're having a baby. Jealous fury, simmering rage, drinking pool water. She's feeling very flirty after finding that out. Oh man, it's jealous now. Oh, sir, there's a lot going on right now. Gossip about booty. I'm gonna try this again. Admit to being pregnant by Ember's partner. <laughs> You're telling her in front of her child? All right, she's telling her. Did y'all just see that? She literally like waved it off like it was nothing. No way. Now man, it's mad. She's definitely jealous. <gasps> this is a lot. Oh my gosh. Gilbert, I'm so sorry. Confess having cheated with, apologize about cheating. Admit to getting another sim pregnant. Okay, okay, you're telling her, you're telling her. Oh, oh, that she's mad about. This is a weird picture. I'm just gonna save this for funsies. Okay, so that she's mad about, but she didn't care when Destiny told her. Oh dear, oh hello, oh my God. Unfaithful love from out of relationship pregnancy. She is bottling it up and needs to let out her frustrations in the woohoo bush with Manit. Okay, Fre 
frenzied kiss. I, I don't think this is gonna work. He's pretty upset with her. She finds out Liam got Destiny pregnant and now in front of him is admitting the affair. Oh my God, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Ah! Liam, are you seeing this? <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. Did he just throw his drink? Did I miss that, y'all? Did he just throw his drink at him? All right, let's end with a woohoo. Wait, didn't he just throw a drink at her, though? I don't think they're gonna woohoo. All right, Eloise and Winston, do you wanna have your first dance? I'm so sorry for all of this. I truly am. Not really, but I... Uh, I'm sorry you couldn't have a peaceful wedding, but this was the most entertaining thing ever. Ah! Guys, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What? Ember's dying. Wait, I thought that couldn't happen. Oh my god, I played a dangerous game. I did too much. I did too much. It says she's having she's having a cardiac arrest. A cardiac explosion from anger. Plead. 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 I can't. She can't die. Where are we gonna get all of our drama from? She can't die. That's no, 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 no. Who's gonna plead for her? Who's gonna plead for her? Who, who? Who has a good relationship with her? Does anybody have a good relationship with her? Does that matter? Okay, if she survives this, we're saying she did, like, she went to the hospital, okay? Maybe she had, like, a mini art. I don't know. I don't, this can't, this, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Man is just standing there with a straight face. Oh my god! Make a confident sim plead for her. A confident sim? Why are you angry? Chat, she's dying. She's dying, Manit, you dumbass. Where's the Grim Reaper? I need to plead right this second. Plead. Are you confident? A confident mood. Oh, I see, I see. Who wants to be confident? Oh my god, Wind. Oh, he's he's inspired. He's not confident. Who's confident? Please, anybody? Anybody? Literally, is anybody? I'm just gonna control all the sims and see if anybody is feeling confident right this second for whatever reason, even though there's a lot going on right now. Control sim. Very playful. Are you just playful, Nani? Are you confident? No! Why is everyone- <gasps> Makai, are you confident? <gasps> oh my god, Makai's gonna save the day! <laughs> Makai, save us, please! I can't let this happen! Why can't I plead? Makai! You have to wait till he's on the tablet! Sir, get on your tablet. That's such a weird thing to say. Okay, 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 okay. All right, we're going, we're going, we're going. Demand Ember be spared. All right, here it goes. This is literally the moment of truth. Makai, Makai, oh good, oh good, oh good. Oh my God, you're literally saving the day. You are literally saving the day. He's disappointed. He's like, I've been waiting to take this girl. <laughs> Wait, is he saying no? Oh no, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No? No? <gasps> Guys, how do I explain this to people? What am I supposed to say in the next episode? Hey, by the way, y'all, Ember is dead, but let me tell you the like 10,000 pieces of drama that happened before that. You have got to be kidding me. This is the worst wedding ever. Y'all, nobody is crying. Not a single person is upset about this. All right, fine. They're a little bit upset, I guess. Ah! Man, this is a lot. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> this was fun. Bye.